students today we are going to learn how to write picture story now as you write a story picture story is also based on your imagination but here you get a base of a picture or a series of pictures from where you link that story or base that story to it's not complete imagination a background is provided to you a series of event is provided to you and you have to translate into words you know the picture uh, you can see the story in the picture and then you say it in words okay you just narrate what's happening in the picture in words converted into a story okay so uh, picture composition we already know we have done picture description picture composition already so how is picture story writing different from picture composition writing so you would mostly describe what's there in the picture you uh, choose a person who sets a narrative suppose i choose here a boy who came to jog and then i uh, describe everything that's going on in the picture through him what what he saw okay so it will be mainly an event going on it is not ending anywhere can you see an ending no you can you see a start no so uh, it's just an event going on it's a small event going on it's uh, maybe probably a few hours that people are spending in a park it's a holiday but when you look at the story picture story you will see it's it is starting and then throughout the series of events then it ends somewhere you know there is a definite end to it and there is a definite start to it so what's your role here your role is again you have to keep in mind what you keep in mind while writing the picture composition also the space setting purpose action conclusion and emotion now what's the setting here you can see there is a house then there is shops going on setting is the place where the story is happening and then what's the purpose I mean the girl is going to buy something and uh, then she ends up getting tempted and it's eating it that's your action she went to the market and ate completely while when she reached home there is nothing left so that's your purpose and your action going on and then what's the conclusion she got tempted she ate and she should not have done that then what's your job is to narrate this all in your words and you can give a conclusion of your own to it and you can give a start of your own to it and uh, you can just spin it in a story like uh, before uh, she uh, went to the market was there a background story to it why, why she got tempted it was she her normal behavior or she got tempted that day so these things you have to create on your own that's where your imagination you uh, give it a free run of imagination and you make it your story you know you can name the characters and you can uh, give a background to the story before all that you have to always remember setting purpose action conclusion and emotion remember it should be clear in your mind before you start writing if you start writing confused then it will go uh, spin out of hand and that needs practice when you continuously uh, describe small things you know create small stories then you realize sometimes um, you just uh, the middle part becomes too big for you and the conclusion is too small so when you have a picture in front of you then you have the body there what you have to think of is any background if you want to in, uh, insert and what is your conclusion rest is there in the picture you just have to keep on describing it give it describe it in your own words and the, your story will be Um, no, what are the background rules that you have to remember? Picture story involves writing story based on given picture. Picture story writing requires the writer to observe carefully the given picture and write a series of events with a logical conclusion. The story should be written using meaningful sentences. We start by carefully observing the picture. The, noting down our observations as points in a logical order, imagine the scenes, try to frame meaningful sentences, select a suitable title on the imaginary based on the imaginary theme, and write the title on top of the paragraph before you start. So now let's see my take on this story. Okay, so I have titled it as Pooja's first shopping strip. 
okay so it was a pleasant sunday morning that's the background that i created pooja was very happy today she lived in a joint family and was the youngest child all the children in the family shared the household work as she was the youngest child she was always told to do the lighter and easier chores but she always wanted to do the things her older cousins did especially when they went to the local market to buy things now you can see here before the first um, because the first picture shows that the mother is telling her to go and buy so before that i have created a background that which was very important for her this is my spin to it you can have your own you can have your own background to the story you know your imagination is limitless okay so don't be limited by what i felt you can feel something else also okay so now today pooja was alone at home with her mother and her mother asked her to get a baguette from a local bakery what is a baguette the long bread you see in the hand of that girl okay pooja was thrilled to finally get the chance to shop on her own she reached the bakery and brought one baguette as she at as she came out of the bakery she thought let's taste it if it is fresh or not she took a small bite it was fresh and full of flavors there was an electric shop, electronic shop near to next to the bakery pooja saw the things displayed in the shop window and dreamt of the day she will be big enough to buy them herself she looked at the baguette and thought it is so big it won't finish if i take another bite now you see uh, i am describing here the things that i saw in the next frame of the picture By the time she reached home, she had already eaten half of the bread. As she reached home, Pooja saw her neighbor's cat and stopped to look at them too. All this while, she kept eating the baguette. As she reached back home, she saw her mother was waiting for her at the dining table with tea and cheese, which she planned to eat with the baguette. Mother was looking at Pooja's hand with an angry expression because she had just a small portion of the baguette left in her hand. She told Pooja, "Now you know why we never send you to buy things. Means she was not mature enough to understand um, when to do what to do." Pooja said sorry to her mother and promised that she will never repeat the mistake again. Moral of the story is we should not give in. to temptations and have self control now this is my story you see uh, the setting and the conclusion is not there in the picture that we have to decide uh, on our own setting means the start the before the story part okay setting is uh, not just uh, the where you see the story going on setting is also how you set the narrative okay like i said the narrative that she always wanted to go to the market herself you can have your own narrative okay so and then purpose action everything we included even the emotion okay she felt bad right so that's how you write a imagination so you can do that and always remember imagination is the key to successful writing okay happy writing